Alrighty, welcome back. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do today is, is I'm going to put on as much mud as I can in the timeline that Jolene has set up for me. We usually try for an hour at least, try to do that much. We'll see what happens. What I'm going to try to do is put as much mud on as I can after I stop my talking. Picked up this little toy this morning. I thought I'd bring in. It's called Show and Tell. Everybody comes and watch. I'm also show you what I'm into. Bought this toy this morning from Al's. It's not Al's. It's uh, twice as nice in Port Williams. He just bring it in the door, and uh, I like the color of it. I like the interior on it. The red interior looks nice. The two-tone green looks nice. Uh, the hubcaps are on it. Folding door in the back. Trunk lid comes down. It's just a nice toy to look at, and I thought I'd bring it up here and show you, just because I felt like I'd show you. But anyways, I want to show you this too. Why not? It's a beautiful day over here today. Today, I thought about doing the video on this or doing it on that. But to be honest with you, what's going on here is just fitment. I just have to make it fit better. I've got everything cut and in place. I've used a piece of round rod for here on doing on this. I'll weld that. I'll bridge the weld from the round rod to the piece of metal I got going on and I'll grind it to that shape and we'll be fine. The top of the doors I have to grind a little bit off and cut whatever that just means I weld it back up and grind it and make it look nice. I did it on the door of the truck I made a lip you take probably take some off or put some on one or the other. The, win the window post has come out further because we chopped it without cutting it in half. I hadn't seen one done this way before so I wanted to try it and it worked it seemed to work out. Um, there was a guy said uh, that I I was a hack. I hacked it off. Right, I did. Hacked it off the hacksaw. <laughs> Only way I know how to do it. If I want to do it slow, you can do it slow. Yes, you can. Or you can, you know, hack it off. And that's what I did. Um, you can see how it's welded back up. We're fine. We grind that off. It'd be good. What I'm trying to do with this car is I'm trying to, I'm going to, or, you know, my dream is to make a race car to haul on back of the, on the back of the truck, the 40, 49 Monarch. Mercury, whatever you want to call it, 36 Ford. This side here has to be done yet. It's bent down here. I wish I don't have a torch. I don't. Uh, I don't do a lot of torch work, so I don't like paying for that contract. But it'd be nice to have some heat to throw up in there and try and, and get it. And, you know, bang it out a little bit without splitting it, or it's kind of wrinkled quite hard, so it would. I'm sure it would tear it. But uh, we'll try that plenishing hammer out on it. We got that from what's the, his name? Rod Romero, Rod Romero's Hot Rod Shop. See, I knew the name. It's just, it's, I don't want to get it wrong. But anyways, I still might have got it wrong. But I want to get the post in there and get that done. We have a flathead. This is the question for the video. We have a flathead V8 in the 47 Ford. Or I have a six-cylinder flathead hop. What would you put in the car for a race car? We're, we're talking the, the, was it Pine Tree Jamboree? Um, Mike, this old hot rod, want to check his show out. It's, uh, his name is Mike, and it's called This Old Hot Rod. He's fixing up a 34. He's doing the home build thing. It's a good, it's a good watch, you know. They're just people trying to build hot rods. But he has a, a friend uh, that has started the drags for the flatheads, and I'm kind of interested in it. And uh, it would be fun to dream that we could do this, haul the car down, and uh, race down the track. That's a dream, just a dream, but it's fun to dream, and uh, it's my dream, and I'll beg, make it as big as I want to, and that's what I'm going for. That's what I do. I just make a dream and, and then go for it. But right now, uh, my dream is to put on as much mud as I can in front of you as fast as I can, and uh, let's check it out, see how fast we can go. Let's see how fast we can go, but let's get it done. Get it done. The board's getting a bit crusty. I should probably grab a new one. I'm getting the edges of the, the old body first. Not good. She's seen better days, boys. She's seen better days. Got to mix that, mix that hardener all the way through. If I do not, I'll have... I'll have soft spots in the filler, and I don't want that if I can help it. I should have sanded that off before the shirt. That was a boo-boo right from the get-go. Boo-boo right from the get-go. I can, but not the second I can't. <laughs> Jolene want me to flip it over? I can, and, and I can serve it as a blizzard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
there you go. Here's your blizzard. <laughs> Check that out. They call that um, Bondo. Hey, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Trying to mix it on that board. We'll get it on, and then we'll take it off. Or mix, throw it around where it needs to be. Does not matter to me. It matters to me how it looks. It does not matter to me how much. Well, it matter, it, actually, it does. It all matters, I guess. I want to put on as much as I can in the flood, obviously, so I do not have to keep putting it on. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to flood it and get it down to the surface that I need. I'm into it already, but what's to be expected? It's body fill. Try, I don't like to waste it. I like to put it on somewhere because I'll sand it off or use it, that's for sure. That's still wet on top of that. Looking around. I'll let that one dry. I don't think I'm going to use that one anymore. It's a piece of metal right here. I think I wiped it off for you the other night, I think, Jolene. And uh, you did not use it, so I'm going to. A little smaller batch. I got a little smaller table going on. It's hard to, ooh, don't want to knock that over. Not thinning this out. I want the meat of the filler. board is not flat so I just adapt <laughs> basically that's it Whichever way you pull the paddle is the way the filler goes. So if I pull it this way, that means I'm pulling filler that way. Don't want to waste any. Get her on. filler. Don't want to waste it.
go with that for now. I'll let Jolene have a chance at this too. You'll probably be able to get that, watch that on Facebook. She won't upload it to YouTube, but I'm going to get Jolene to put some of this on too. You know, give her the experience. Really don't know unless you do it. Throwing it at you again, sweetheart. It's nice not have to wear the mask today while we're not sanding. You know, we're putting it on. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cover the whole truck before I do any sanding, like the last time. Cover the whole side. And then we'll go sanding. This is where the mud is going to be needed, where the doors were welded together to, to feather that out. So there's no sense fooling myself. I need the material there to do it. So let's get it on, I guess. Got a hammer, got in there, beat that out a little bit, so I'm happy with that now. It's easier than I thought. Smooth this out just a little bit more. And sometimes I'm pulling on the stuff underneath so it doesn't want to lay the smoothest. This is when it gets sticky. This is when it gets sticky. <laughs> I wasn't lying, was I? Huh? I wasn't lying. Getting sticky. color.
and I'll just do this, I guess. Continue right on. If it will do it. We've got a mean crow outside, we have. No reason I say he's mean, because he sounds mean, don't he, baby? Mm -hmm. He sounds mean. He or she, whoever. It's a mean crow. Just trying to get it on there as flat as I can. I might That should be enough. Body fill, I've mixed it on everything. I've mixed it on cardboard. I've mixed it on paper. I've mixed it on metal. I've mixed it on plastic. Doesn't seem to affect it in any way. You know, doesn't matter, you know. I just grab anything and mix it on there. Doesn't seem to hurt anything. Either way, I've done it. I don't complicate it. I just make it as easy as possible. This is a piece of metal that was over there, and I used it. That's and that's how it goes. <laughs> no complication. Mix it up, put it on, sand it off, make it look good. Put more on you need. And that way, there, you can get done what you need to get done. That's how I run it. Put on more than you need. Because if you do not, you'll be running back there and mixing it up some more. And then, you're, then you play with the opportunity of the, of the fill not to be as hard as the last batch you put on. Then you start digging into that bunch, and it, then it becomes a mess. And become, you know, back and forth, back and forth. I will. I'm trying to get this truck and all, like for people that have not been here and watching me spread this mud on, thinking I'm crazy. It could be true, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the, the, lev the truck at one, one level and, uh, and I'm putting a flood on it to find out where that is. The metal it, on this is the ocean floor, and the ocean floor is not always so great looking sometimes. So we flood it with mud, which is body fill, and then we make sure that we do not let, we make the flood work. We make sure that it does not show any of the ocean floor shining through. And that way there, it'll be nice and flat, or nice and straight. Be not, it'll be a flood, which, which will look really nice under paint. When the flood is not done right, and you can see uh, the ocean floor or low spots in the water or whatever in the body fill, it does not look that good. We've bought two cans of fiberglass and, and two cases of fill. So we bought two cans of fiberglasses, two cans of fiberglass, um, eight cans of body fill, two cases. So we got 
three quarters of a can of fiberglass here left. So we used one can of fiberglass in a little bit, one can of body fill on this side so far. No, it wasn't even one can, it was half a can. And this is what we have. We have our other can of fiberglass there. So we have a can of dust, a can of dust, and a can of dust. So we got three cans of dust. So we use, it took four gallons to cover this side, half a, half a gallon of fiberglass. So four gallons to cover it, the whole thing. I mudded it quite thick. And one can of fiberglass. So now I've got to sand it all down. We've got three full cans of, of dust and the can of fiberglass empty. So now we're on a can of fill for the, the other side. That was a half a can over there, what I started with. So I'll probably use another three gallons on this side to cover it all. And uh, that's basically it. So we'll have, so we put four cans on the other side. So we have three cans of dust out of four cans of body fill. So it's almost like as much you put on, you take off. And the reason I explained that to you and let you know that, because there's people that want to know. <laughs> no doubt in my mind, how many cans of body fill, how many cans of fiberglass? Well, we ordered two fiberglass and eight of filler. We have three cans of filler, five, or three cans of body fill left and one can of fiberglass. And we have three cans of dust on the floor. So we're sweeping up just as much as we're putting on, except for one can. So we're one can shy. I don't know what, I don't know what that means, but I'm telling you what, what's going on. Don't know what that means, but uh, I have to use what I have to use to make it look right. And uh, that's basically the end of it. Um, yeah. You have to remember as I'm doing this, all them seams are places that we made and, and, and fixed or whatever. We, you know, we've made this truck. It's not, um, it's not something that I've made a panel for and I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, you know, we've made a truck, not a panel, a truck. <laughs> that's, the, that's the difference on some of this stuff and I have to make it come as one and the filler is what makes it come as one. And remember, there was no, there was no book on, you know, what the panel, what, what shape it should have been or what size it should be. There's no, there's no uh, recipe for this one. It's not like you're taking a sheet of metal and uh, this is the paper pattern that you have to make and this is the shape you have to make. No, this is a truck or a car that I had in the dooryard that decided to cut the roof off and put another car on top of it and no one told me where it had to go, what it had to look like. There's a big difference. more on than I need so I have something to sand down in the small places we'll do that later and we'll make sure that we sand it while the fill is soft
buffer. pinholes I see I try to cover them up with extra filler that I have on my my board at all, or my thing and any time when I'm filling if there's a pinhole somewhere try to grab it and then sand it off with your filler sand it off when you're sanding and then you'll have less pinholes in the end that quarter panel licked up doesn't look you know as smooth as I want it to there but does not matter. I'm sanding it off. Sanding it off. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It is a beautiful day. A little car made me happy this morning. Thanks, Al. Appreciate that. It was fun. We'll put it in our he she room, won't we, baby? Put it in our he she room. Yeah, use a straight six cylinder hop or the flathead V8. We checked them out for horsepower. I'm not sure. They're right around the closest. They're right around the same. I'm just not sure about, what am I not sure about? Which one I want to use. Six, they got a chassis right there with a six cylinder in it and everything. Um, seems. stingy wanting that back wouldn't I? Being stingy. Stick up there.
some places will have nothing, and some places will have a little, and some places will have a little more than that, and some places might have, have a little more than that. But it does not matter in the end when it's all painted. It does not matter. It's all been welded. It's all been fiberglassed. It's all been sandblasted. And I'm hoping the best for it. Hoping the best. That's all you can do when you make something, right? It's all you can do when you make something. Um, when you're repairing something, do the best job you can. And that's the end of it. Do the best job you can. No more, no less. Get some more of that for the last one, can I? See if I can. Oh, get a dub. A little dab will do ya. Ooh, look at that now, would you? I got her. Makes me happy. Makes me happy.
Get rid of that rag. We'll get another rag. Some more on. Got to get a hardener. That's what it costed us. Good thing that went on nice, because I didn't, I didn't, uh, you should usually generally squeeze that with the cover on it to make sure the juice doesn't come out first, but it was, it was mixed up, it was good. It didn't make me look bad. Pardon? I did. Um, when I, I first met Gene in 2008 at a CHOP course, Gene Winfield that is, I met him in 2008 at a CHOP course, uh, learned, learned a lot that day, the, the day, that was the day the light come on, said, wow, I can do this, because I knew once he was showing me stuff that you're allowed to do whatever you want to do to make a custom car, you know, um, then when I met Gene, it was kind of, uh, the first time I met him, I was at the CHOP course, and then uh, he was going to do the show called Car Warriors at one time. He was thinking about it. I ended up getting, he ended up giving me a phone call and asking me if I'd join his team on Car Warriors, and I was quite taken back. Yes, I was. I was quite excited, and uh, it did not happen, but that's okay. Um, but I did get to go down and work on his truck called the Pacifica. And uh, he's given me credit many times in magazines, many times about helping him and, and that sort of stuff. But I did help him fill out the truck called Pacifica. And uh, that was fun. It was a good time. I learned a lot. I learned that you had to clean your own dishes. Yes, I did. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there, baby? Nothing wrong with that. Probably a good thing. See, I told you I learned some good stuff. But let's face it, uh, once you get to the metal, that's as far as you can go. And if you need filler or help, this is, this is what it's for. And that's why I'm using it. This is what it's for. And like I said, nobody's painting welded cars without filling them up. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's painting welded up cars. Paint and bare metal, nobody's doing that, so we can just forget about that. Ah! Guess I don't want it. It's got dirt, too much dirt. Leave it in it, use it for rock art. Oh, better get rid of that on there, hadn't I? If you've never done body work for, before, it's, I know it's hard to believe that there's this much fill or this much used on something, but, you know. You can watch any of them. They all use it, so. I don't feel shy. Do it, baby. I don't, I'm not shy. I'll use it. Make it go better. Just want to get some filler on that. One of my favorite, one of my better car shows that I like to watch 
is chasing classic cars with Wayne Greeny. I like watching that because you learn, you know, there's different cars on there. You learn about all the different cars that, that are going on. Um, yeah, I like that show. They were doing a show last night where they were restoring a car. And if you watch closely, you can see that their car was covered completely too. And if they're going to Amelia Island and, and winning trophies with it, I should be allowed to cover my truck too, right? I, I watch the King Dig show and I watch them cover all their cars from head to toe. And I see them go all over the world win trophies. I should be allowed to cover my car all on Phil. And everybody else got, has to know that you're allowed to do the same. You're allowed to do the same without, without prejudice, you know what I mean? You're allowed to do the same. And that's how it gets done. Believe me or believe me not, but I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> and there's a lot of, you know, it takes filler to make this stuff straight and look good. When you, you know. What I'm trying to say is, I guess, is that we all do it the same in the end. In the end, we all do it the same. We fill them all out to make them look the best they can. And uh, that's the end of it. <laughs> Whether one car has less or more, what, what, what would it matter? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, as long as it's done right, you know, I can, at least I can say I welded it all up. I didn't, I didn't skip any places. They're all welded, all ground off. What else more, what else can you do? You know, I guess I could slow down and take three or four years or whatever and try to build one. Sure, I could do that. Don't want to. <laughs> Don't want to. I want to build as many cars as I can. As many cars as I can. So, if you're fixing up an old car, don't worry about putting body fill in it. Don't worry about it. Just do it. Just do it. Man, just do it. And the faster you do it, the better you are. No ifs, ands, ors, or buts. The faster you do it, the better you are. Further, I think I can, but just a different view. Ah. Ah. You just mess with the wrong fella. Huh? Just mess with the wrong fella. Have not figured the entrance out, not yet, have not. 
I will just keep going and going on something until I figure it out. I'm not going to let it slow me down. I'm not going to let it slow me down. But I'm thinking, well, what I'm thinking is I don't want to put it. I don't. I like the look of the whole, the, the French footstep in the side of the truck. I just don't want to be getting out of the truck and turning around and stepping my foot down, trying to kick the side of the truck, trying to find the hole. Basically, that's what you'd be doing if it was inside the truck, because you're not going to see it. Look at that now, would you? You're not going to see it. So that's what I'm thinking. When you turn around, you would not see the hole. You would just keep slamming your foot against the truck. Don't want that. Uh, sitting at Subway with Jolene, I watched the Chevy truck go by, and they have a little kick out. I don't know if it's a kick out, but they have a little plastic step that goes inside the truck. Probably would work good. I could cut the hole and then shove that plastic inside the truck so you wouldn't be kicking the truck instead of that. You'd be kicking the plastic where you put your foot. Also, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about um, how a Model, Model T made it, made it simple, and that's generally the way I like it. On the, on the rumble seat, they had a little foot step that you could jump up, a little, foot, little round footstep, you could jump up and get in that rumble seat. I'm thinking something small like that, maybe on the side, I'm not sure. I keep thinking about the tanks too. I can shove the tank, French the tanks in the side of the truck. I just don't know if I want that appearance yet. And uh, what I basically am doing is I'm holding off until I have to come up with something and then I'll go for it. And then I can just play around my brain a little bit more. And this way when I'm filling, I am not I'm not, I'm not wasting time. I'm still going forward. Like every day I mix something on this board and put it on that truck, I'm going forward. But to slow down and try to figure out what I'm going to do for steps or what I'm going to do for this or what I'm going to do for that, that's a mistake. I don't want to slow down. Just got to keep going forward and figure that out when, it has, when we have time. And I'll just be thinking about it all the time and I'll choose what I like the best in my brain or an idea that comes along. Basically, I have a friend down the road, uh, just moved in town, and uh, I'm going to get him to come up, and uh, maybe we'll play with the flathead and the hot mobile, the engines, and uh, we'll see what runs and what doesn't and what acts good and all that sort of stuff. And uh, maybe we can do a, a, tol a poll on what we should use for an engine. I'm, I'm basically sh sure, I'm not basically sure, but I'm, I'm thinking that most people would want the, the flathead V8 in it. I'm not sure, because it is a Ford. But the hop engine is cool. There's not many of them around. Don't know the potential of the engine either. And it would be fun to have... The fastest, the fastest engine in it I could. I might try to get creative. I might try to get creative. No, that's not true. I will get creative. Um, what I'm thinking is about how to make it as light as possible and go as fast as possible. That's what I'm thinking about. I see Mike on this old hot rod has gathered himself up a, a T body, which is cool. I think he's doing the same thing, getting ready for the for pine tree for next year. And uh, I hope we can meet them all down there. We met them before. They're all a bunch of good people. Besides that, I need to get Isaac, Isaac the young fire to build me a couple carburetors. <laughs> Let me get a little more on. I'll get a little more on. Let me put this gallon on. See where we get. It's basically what I do in a handbag, mud or all. Anybody that um, fills cars out or mud cars out, they know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. If you've never mudded out a car before, you would not understand. If you've never mudded out a car before. 
unless you've mudded out a car from unless you've mudded out a car that has been welded and fixed and beat and torn and tattered and, and it's old and it don't fit right unless you've mudded out a car like that you have no idea how much filler does get used you have no idea even on a basic uh, basic you know body job how much filler is used to make that thing look right after someone has beat it down through the trees and maybe cut a couple dents in the fenders and got a weld a, a rocker on it or a quarter panel uh, you have no idea how much filler is being used you have no idea unless you've done it and I know there must be a few watching they understand this is why it takes so much time to build a custom car because this has to be done What's that, baby? Um, Jolene's asked me questions. She's asked me how many cars I've built. Uh, I, I know that um, I built at least. What I mean by built is I, I know that we have I don't know 20 different cars. Um, and I mean by built that mean by that means like um, you've never seen. I guess never seen before. Like what? What do I say? Custom cars, probably. Wow, there's a lot of cars that I've restored. Um, a lot. I don't know how many. A lot. Custom cars, 20 or 30 custom cars that no one's ever seen before, probably. One ofs. Two of our cars went to SEMA, you know, and then we're, we're advertising as 35 day builds. Some of them were a little longer, some of them were a little shorter. But they made it to SEMA. The Green Goblin, I built that in six months. Uh, that, that went to SEMA, they took that to SEMA. But I can honestly say it's not about that for me anymore. It's not about that anymore. I just want to build the car. I just want to build the car. It's not about that anymore. You know, when I was younger, I used to think, you know, that you know, winning something was the fantastic. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But that's not what it's about for me anymore. You know, I'm not going anywhere or anything to prove. Not going anywhere and. Got nothing to prove. It's really about the cars, to be honest with you. Got nothing to do with me. I just like working on them. And playing in body fill. I don't believe it. Got another one. One more. One more. We're getting there. We're getting there. Giving away a hat or a shirt today? We're giving away a hat or a shirt today, we are. You're not getting my toy, that's for sure. You're not getting my toy. 58 or 50, I think it's a 58. Okay, oh, it's a 1959. That's why he said it was a 1959. 1959 Ranch Wagon. I like ranch dressing, too. Yeah, pick that up twice nice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Something nice to look at. I'll look after it for the next person, which will probably be Jolene. <laughs> then she's going to have to look at her. No, she's going to look at her now, aren't you? Didn't think that was there much, much in there, did you? 
probably hopefully hopefully we'll have enough i'm getting just dirty and i'm getting down dirty in it because we're at the bottom getting down dirty see a little bit at the bottom it makes me want to go get it but nope so we already know we'll have we've got you know we've got two gallons of filler going on there now one more gallon should finish it up to the front and the back should finish it no problem and then we know when we sand this side off we'll have three buckets of, of dust <laughs> right three buckets of dust and that's what it'll be nothing more nothing less that good and hard that time didn't we and I mean by hard I mean it's got lots of hardener in it don't need that fill do they nope <laughs> a wash machine takes a beating doing it If I do not put the filler on it, you must agree, I can't sand it off. Can't sand it off, I don't put it on. Fina taking my line light. All right, good job, Fina. Good job. Got some pinholes up here, I just wanna stick some. Oh, that's still soft. Well, not really. Yeah. Alrighty. So I've just put on a gallon and a half of filler, and we've almost got it covered. Almost got it covered. See, I must get into that. What happens is I'm going to have to keep going on. I have to continue covering up front, covering up by the, by the headlight here. I'm going to have to open another gallon, but uh, it won't be much. And it'll use what it uses. I do not use spot putty. I keep saying that. I do not use that. Just keep it over and over with filler. It'll be 40, 80, and then we'll prime it. And uh, if we have to fix it, we can. Because I'll use primer that you can put filler on top of. What I like to do is do 40, 80, prime it, skip the putty of the body. Most generally, most generally, you fill it, they fill it, and then putty it, and then prime it. I like to fill it, prime it, skip the puttying, prime it, and then hit all the pinholes with thin down filler after it's primed. Then I fix all the pinholes. Then I guide coat it and block it off, make it into something. But anyways, let's give away a hat or shirt. I'm just going to get some thinner here. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. You can go through there and get the computer start, sweetheart, and I'll get some thinner on this rag. And I'll be right with you. I'll be right with you. i got to go that way anyways because I can't get out. Jolene's going to open the computer up, and someone's going to win her a hat or a shirt. And then we'll... Thank you very much for the great comments that you make all the time. We appreciate everybody coming back and watching. I hope I don't scare you with 
all the filler that I'm putting on. But basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to skip a bunch of steps of going back and forth and making this body job last me two months is what I'm trying to do. Um, I don't know how fast anybody else would do it or how they would do it. But I know that the more you go back and forth putting filler on and not having enough to sand uh, takes time. And uh, I want to try to get rid of that time by putting it all on at once. Yep, how many comments? 46. 486 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Stay with us. Hayler? Hey, Jer. Hey, Jer. You make even the most mundane chore interesting, Chad. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know if it's being interesting or you're getting to hear the nothing but the truth. <laughs> right? You're getting, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's called, yeah. It's nice to be able to, well, it is nice to be able just to do something, make something, show you how I'm doing it, and then you get to judge or react the way you want to. I'm so happy that you like it and uh, you find it interesting, but uh, basically what I'm telling you is all I, anything I, all I know. <laughs> That's all I know. Thank you very much. I'm mumbling. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.